surface condenser is designed to handle 12,000 kg per hour of steam. The steam enters the steam enters at 8 kPa and 0.9. Condensant leaves the condenser at the corresponding saturation temperature. Calculate the rate of cooling of water if the cooling water temperature rise is limited to 12 degrees. In the systematic sketch here, the steam from the turbine is coming from point number 1. It leaves the condensate. Water is inlet temperature and this is water outlet. The mass rate of steam is 12,000 kg per hour. Pressure of steam is 8 kPa. The dryness of the steam is 0.9. The rise in temperature of water is TWO minus TWI is limited to 12 degrees Celsius. The difference in degrees Celsius is same as 12 Kelvin. Since the initial condition of the steam is 0.08 bar and the dryness fraction is 0.9, so we have to find out enthalpy at wet steam which is given by XHF plus XHFG at 0 0.08. Using the steam table, this value is recorded as 173.8 plus 0.9 into 2403.3, which is up to 336.77 kilojoules per kg. The condensate, which is water, is enthalpy at this point is H2 is equal to HF at the same pressure 0 0.08, which is 173.8 kilojoules per kg. Now we can take the energy balance. The heat rejected by the steam is equal to heat absorbed by cooling water. The difference is given as m dot s into h1 minus h2 equal to m dot w cpw outlet temperature of water minus inlet temperature. The mass of steam flow rate is 12,000 kg per hour. H1 we will put up 2336.77. H2 is 173.8. Cp of water is standard value 4.187 into 12. If we solve this, we will get mass of water is 516591.83 kilojoules per kg per hour. That is the required answer. The following data refers to a test to a surface condenser. The absolute pressure of steam entering the condenser is 5.628. This is P mix. Inlet temperature of cooling water is 15 degrees Celsius. This is TWI. Outlet temperature of cooling water 30 degrees Celsius is TWO. Mass of cooling water per kg of steam. So this is MS by F MW by MS 32. Temperature of condenser that equals to this value 32. We want to find out dryness fraction of steam as it enters the condenser. So ratio of water upon ratio of uh, mass of water upon mass of steam is 32. P1 is uh, 0 0.05628 bar. X1 is we don't know the value of X. So let it be X. Inlet temperature is 15. Outlet is 30. We want to calculate first H1 which is a wet steam. Assume a wet steam because we want to know the dryness fraction. So it is HF plus XHFG at 0 0.05628 bar is approximately from the steam table is 146.6 plus 2418.6. Similarly, we can calculate H2 at this temperature, which is 32 degrees Celsius. HF value again from steam table 134.2. By energy balance, we get M dot S H1 minus H2 equal to M dot W CPW into TWO minus TWI. So M dot S H1 is equals to 146.6 plus 2418.6 times X. H2 value is 134.2. M dot W we can write as 32 times MS into 4187, 30 minus 1.5. What we observed is that M dot S will be get cancelled and if we solve this equation, we will get X equals 2.826, that is the required dryness fraction of the steam at inlet to the condenser. In the example number 3, the steam is supplied to the steam turbine at 3 mega Pascal and 300 degrees Celsius, so inlet is 300 mega Pascal and 300 degrees Celsius. Expansion of the steam is carried out isentropically, so this S1 is same as S2. And the vacuum in the condenser, the measure, uh, vacuum here is 713 mm of Hg. Barometer ready will measure the atmospheric pressure, 758 mm of Hg. The condenser temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, this temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Rise in cooling water, inlet and outlet difference is 12. You want to find out quality of steam, that is what is the dryness fraction and the quantity of cooling water supplied per kg of steam that is ms equals to let inlet of the turbine is 0.1 outlet is 2 which is inlet to the condenser and 3 is the outlet of condenser atmospheric uh, temperature pressure is given as 750 mm, mm of hg and vacuum is 713 so partial pressure at point number 2 or point number 1 at point number 2 only is p mix equal to p atmospheric minus p vacuum vacuum is always negative quantity so this is 758 minus 713 which is equals to 45 mm of Hg. For steam table we have to convert this into bar which is 45 divided by 760. 760 is equivalent to 1.01325 using this conversion we can convert this pressure mm of Hg into bar which is approximately equals to 0 0.06 bar.
the rise in temperature of water is given as uh, around 20 degrees Celsius, sorry, is given as 12 degrees Celsius and the temperature of condensate is given as 20 degrees Celsius. Since the expansion is a turbine is isentropic, we have to use the Mollier diagram to calculate the condition of the steam using the isentropic condition S1 equals to S2 in the So on the Mollier diagram HS plot, that is Mollier diagram, locate the line of 30 bar first and then intersect with uh, 30 degree Celsius, 300, 300 degree Celsius line. So we get the intersection of 30 bar and 300 degree Celsius, let label this point equal to 1. Since the process is isentropic, we will draw the vertical from point number 1 till it intersects the uh, condenser pressure of 0 0.06 bar and from this point we can pass the dryness fraction line. The dryness fraction line will be approximately passing through point 2 will give you the value of X2 which is the inlet to the condenser and from Mollier diagram this value is obtained approximately equals to 0.77. Now since we know the value of X2, we can calculate the value of H2 which is inlet to the condenser. The steam is wet so we have to formula HF plus X2 HFG at 0 0.06 bar. Using steam, value, uh, steam table you substitute this one and you get the value of H2 equal to 2011.82. Enthalpy at outlet can be obtained using HF at condenser temperature of 30, 20 degrees Celsius from steam table it is 83.9 kilojoules per kg. Again we do the energy balance. According to energy balance the heat rejected by the steam in the condenser must equal to heat gained by the cold water in the condenser that is M dot S into H1 minus H2 is equal to M dot W, CPW, TWO minus TWI. Substitute all these value from here. Since we need to find out the quantity of water per kg of steam we will put MS equal to 1 and H1 is equals to 2011.82 minus H2 is 83.9 CPW of water is again a standard value is 4.187 rise in water is permitted is around 12 degree Celsius so if we solve this equation we will get mass of water come out to be 38.37 kg per kg of steam approximately 40 kg per kg of steam is supplied question number 4 in the question number 4 we have given the inlet temperature of circulating water is around 21 degree Celsius which is TWI, exit temperature of water is 35 degree Celsius, vacuum inside this one is 704.7 treated as negative value, At local atmospheric pressure is 760 mOhg, we need to calculate the efficiency of condenser. To calculate the efficiency of condenser we have to first know the, what is the saturation temperature attained, what is the maximum value of temperature that can be attained or saturation temperature. For this purpose we will find out the pressure at point number 1 which is nothing but the P mix and is given by P atmospheric minus P vacuum. P atmospheric is 760, P vacuum is 704.7, difference come out to be 55.3 mm of Hg. Let's convert this value into bar. For conversion in bar, we will uh, use a standard conversion 55.3 divided by 760 and this 760 is equivalent to 1.01325 bar approximately equal to 0 0.074 bar. If we assume there is no phase change, the, uh, we assume only the phase change, then T1 is equal to T2 and the saturation temperature come out to be 0 0.07 bar from steam table is approximately equal to 40 degrees Celsius. So steam enters at 40 and condensate leaves at 40 degrees Celsius. In the same information if we draw on the temperature plot, T1 is equal to T2 is equal to T sat which is equal to 40 degrees Celsius, water enters at 20 degrees Celsius, water leaves at 35 degrees Celsius. So we can calculate the actual rise in water and the maximum temperature rise of water. The actual rise in water temperature is delta T actual is TWO minus TWI that is 35 minus 21 which is approximately equals to 40 degrees Celsius. To find out the maximum possible rise, so inlet water can rise to maximum equals to 40 degrees Celsius. So therefore delta T max, the maximum temperature will come out to be T sach minus TWI. T is 40, inlet water temperature is 21, so it is equals to 19 degrees Celsius. Hence, condenser efficiency is defined as the actual rise in temperature of water divided by maximum possible. Actual rise is 14 and maximum possible is 19. Hence, the condenser has the efficiency of 73.6%.